as a former councilman and rising political star is found guilty of two federal corruption crimes. PG Sentenfeld now faces years in prison. Our Evan Millward has followed this case right from the start. He begins our team coverage tonight live outside the federal courthouse. Evan? Yeah, Craig Tanya, you'll hear some of that reaction from each side here in a minute. About 2.15 this afternoon, a jury here in federal court found P.G. Sittenfeld guilty of bribery and attempted extortion. Two of the six charges brought against him in this case. Sittenfeld was once considered the front runner for mayor of Cincinnati. Now he faces possibly years in prison in a sentencing phase that could last for months. A jury agreed with prosecutors Sittenfeld's interactions with the government's cooperating witness, former Bengal turned developer Chinadum and Duque amounted to knowingly accepting a bribe. In one recorded call, and Duque says his investor, who we now know was an undercover agent, is ready to make a big donation to Sittenfeld's political action committee in return for a yes vote on a development by the convention center. Sittenfeld calls that a quid pro quo. He says it's illegal, but then agrees to meet with them and discuss donations in person. In another call, Sittenfeld tells Nduque that he's got to do what it takes to be a winning candidate for mayor and would have to and would never want to ever have to say, quote, I love you, Chin, but I can't, presumably, if Nduque didn't donate. Whether or not it's a message to them, that's up to them. If they're involved in illegal activity, hopefully it will send a message. Peachy's, well, he's crushed. He's crushed. Even uh, Sittenfeld left this courthouse without saying anything shortly after that verdict came down, but he did react in court. So did his family and supporters as the first two charges on his services wire fraud were read. They were not guilty. You could see and hear them all breathe a sigh of relief. The third charge was that bribery charge guilty. Sittenfeld put his head down on the desk as it and the fourth charge also guilty were read. And you could hear almost as if the air was sucked out of the room around his supporters. Again, that sentencing phase could take months. The sentencing hearing could be months from now. That's when he'll learn what his sentence, whether it is years in prison, probation, it could be a range of things. That's when he'll learn what comes next. We're live outside the federal courthouse downtown. I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News. All right, Evan, now we want to bring in I-Team reporter Paula Christian. She has covered City Hall back when this was happening back in 2018 and 2019. You were at that trial every single day. So how did these three public corruption indictments to council members, there were two others, as you probably remember, how has that changed City Hall? Oh, it's so different now. I mean, you have to remember back when PG Sittenfeld started on council in 2011, the, that decade was unprecedented growth in the city, downtown and over the Rhine. There were development deals coming before council multiple every week. So the environment was just ripe for this kind of behavior. So since 2020, when all of these corruption indictments came down, it's dra dramatically different at City Hall. So, for example, the city launched a forensic audit. There looking at all the development deals over the last couple of years. There is now a rule at City Hall that you cannot accept donations from developers who have business before the city. And if you look at the recent crop of city council persons, they're not raising the kind of money that that used to come in as candidates. So as we know, PG actually turned down a plea deal in this case in the beginning. He had a chance to take that. Tell us a little bit about that. So he was looking at anywhere between 24 months and probation. So they were gonna leave it up to the judge. And I think that it probably would have been on the low end of that. I, I, and, and he turned it down. Um, so now he is facing likely two to three years in prison. I have to ask you a question. And I, does, do you believe the feds are done with counsel from that time period? Well, you know, I did until this trial. Uh, because in 2020, you, then U.S. Attorney David DeViller said no more indictments at a city hall, but Columbus were still open. But so much came out at this trial about how broad this investigation was. Um, and then I asked U.S. Attorney Ken Parker today at the last question of the news conference, are there more charges coming from city hall? And he said no comment, but he smiled. All right, well, we'll just have to wait and see. And you can read more about today's guilty verdict and what it all means. There's a timeline there, how we got to this point. So much on WCPO.com right now. Thanks to Paula's great work. We appreciate it.